Hi everyone, blessed day to all of you. Welcome to another episode of an online learning series of our Dear Alma Mater, where learning has no ending. This is PNU Talks. My name is Frederick Nino M. Garcia. I'm a graduate of BS Psychology Guidance and Counseling Stream, Batch 2008, and I am your learning from home buddy in this episode. Before I proceed, let me just give you a few information about myself. I used to be the president of TNU Psychological Society from 2007 to 2008 and was a team member of TNU Taekwondo team and represented our alma mater in various competitions. I obtained my master's degree in ministry at Philippine Baptist Theological Seminary in 2011. I also worked at International Christian Academy from 2008 to 2017, where I serve as values education teacher and later on headed the values education department. Also, I serve alongside as discipline officer of the school. Currently, I am working as a school engagement partner at Franklin Covey Education, a global organization that aims to enable greatness in every teacher, student, and school community. I am also a trained facilitator for Seven Habits of Highly Effective People workshop. In today's episode, I would like to share something about how we can best transform lives through education. Please post your comments, questions, and opinions about our episode for today. Please do not forget to like it and share it as well. So let's begin. Even before this pandemic started, there was actually a clamor already to revisit, reevaluate the way we see and do education, not only here in the Philippines, by the way, but globally. A lot of experts are actually suggesting that there are ways that we need to forego and there are things that we need to start developing and adapt if we really desire to see the next generation being transformed into persons with fully actualized potentials and competence. I am not belittling nor denying the fact that this ongoing pandemic has brought so many difficulties and sorrow for all of us. It has created, in fact, chaos on how we do education and how our schools are operating today. Instantly, we are forced to transition from traditional setup to an conventional modalities of education. Teachers, students, school leaders, and even parents scrambled to learn how to operate LMS, prepared um, instructional modules, and equip themselves with technology as they attend also countless webinars just to learn how to navigate the sudden turns of event. However, I must say that the ongoing pandemic has contributed also significantly in opening the eyes and minds of our school leaders, teachers, and in even communities. That there are more things that need attention aside from academic and acquiring technologies. Now, people are more conscious that than before that transforming our students is actually a partnership between schools and home. There is now an increasing awareness that students need to develop relevant soft skills in order to thrive in the 21st century with or without a crisis. In my work today, I regularly engage with school leaders, teachers, and at times with parents from different schools and communities here and abroad. Interesting to find out that while they agree that academic performance and having good internet connection are essential to continue education now, they also say that independent learning, engagement, communication, collaboration, perseverance, decision-making, and time management skills, or in short, life skills, are, are the most important things students need today 
in order for them to navigate this crazy situation. In fact, even UNESCO and World Economic Forum recognize the need to develop these skills in schools and at home. For a long time, whether we admit it or not, a lot of us have seen education as a mere transfer of knowledge. We focus so much on feeding and enriching the brain, but less effort on helping our students realizing what to do with what they have already learned. Yung tipo bang okay na tayo, basta memorize natin yung concepts, basta mataas yung rating natin sa mga examinations. There was a minimal effort in ensuring that our students understand the why behind the what. In fact, diba, we've been hearing students telling their teachers para saan ba yung algebra, para saan ba yung formula na yan, pakikinabangan ko ba yan sa buhay ko. Also, there is a minimal effort in guiding them on how to apply what they have learned in real life. We are concerned about seeing our students topping various exams while neglecting the, de the development of other aspects of their whole being. Then later on, we will be surprised and we will be reacting to issues concerning behavioral challenges, mental health concerns, and social-emotional needs. Maybe at times, it is because of our busyness. We are too busy preparing for instructional materials and yet we fail to ensure if our students are really learning or suffering from learning loss. Maybe we are also flooded with so much urgent activities that we tend to fail to assess whether we are engaging our students in, a, um, in, in an activity that will transform their lives or we simply fill their minds with learning with, with information which actually they can get from Google. Leadership opportunities are only given to the few, probably to those who are seated in row one or yung paborito ni teacher. Or perhaps those who are in, in the, the first section or the cream section leaving the rest of the student population with fewer opportunities to discover their potentials um, and develop certain competencies. If this will remain unaddressed, this can actually lead into tremendous amount of disengagement, depression, lack of grit, or lack of tenacity. Yung tipo bang ang dami-dami nilang alam Pero dumating ang isang pagsubok, susuko agad sila. Imagine an entire generation graduating not prepared for life. If that happens, it may lead to another educational crisis or who knows, another pandemic. When asked by a U.S. president, educator and best-selling author, of the seven habits of highly effective people, Dr. Stephen R. Covey replied that the greatest challenge is on how to unlock the worth and potential of all children and to help them lead their own lives instead of being led. He highlighted that this cannot be done by transactional changes in education. To achieve this, there should be a transformational change to take place in education system. He added that children are not raw materials to go through a transactional processing to be turned into products for the marketplace. He said that children are not products. They are people with potential. And the job of education is to help each child discover his or her unique gifts to offer the world. And the guidance to use the power of choosing what to do with those gifts. Transforming individual requires a kind of education that constantly communicates the worth and potential of a person. 
because it is only when they can clearly see it in themselves true transformation in one's lives in one's life will begin let us take for example the story of Efren Peña Florida who was recognized as one of the CNN hero of a of the year a decade ago in one of his interview he mentioned that he would have not achieved what he has achieved if it did not exp if he did not experience a transformative way of education that helped him unleash and actualize his full potential so what do we do then how do we address this concern again according to dr stephen r Covey, if we keep doing what we are doing we are going to get what we are getting The definition of insanity is to keep doing the same thing and expect different results. Let me repeat that. According to Dr. Covey, if we keep doing what we are doing, we're going to keep getting what we are getting. One definition of insanity is to see doing the same thing and expect different results. So if we really desire to see transformational change in our students' lives, we need to engage ourselves into new things that might help us rethink the way we do education. To do this, we need a new set of paradigms. Paradigms are actually powerful. They have the capacity to influence the way we do things, the way we practice things, and they can actually influence the results that we can get later on. If we really desire to see students being transformed and later on contributing to our communities, we need to see the, the, that there is a need to educate the whole being of each student. We need also to see that all students are capable of leading and spark change. If needed, we need to embrace a mindset that will help us see the unique geniuses of our students and that they can, that they have and can contribute something to the world. Another thing that we need to consider is having new skill sets, not only for students, but also for us adults. We need to develop it. However, it is important. To note that before students develop these relevant skill sets, we adults need to practice them first and model it to them. Let us remember that we are the greatest visual aid for them to learn these things. Let us not be afraid to collaborate and include our students in decision making. Mind you, you might be surprised of their ideas. It may sound crazy, but to tell you honestly, something can actually be, uh, th there are actually something that we can get from their ideas. Allow them to experience difficulties from time to time, but be sure to be with them as they go through it. These simple activities can actually help them develop interdependent attitude improve their social emotional, uh, social emotional skills and adversity quotient. Finally, to achieve a large scale of transformation in school, we need to have a new tool set, an effective one. A tool set that is based on principles and that are timeless and universal. A tool set that is consistently being assessed, well thought of, continuously being developed and improved. A tool set that will act as a framework to help schools cultivate environment where we see, feel, and hear everyone engage around a common goal to develop every student as life-ready leaders with the potential to make difference and transform the world. Through the years and with partnership with educators around the world, Franklin Covey Education has developed 
a whole school transformative process that helps schools educate the whole child, address social emotional needs, and prepare students for life, college, and career. This comprehensive process is called the Leader in Me. It helps empower educators with core paradigms and effective practices that drives measurable results in leadership, culture, and academics. It is a process of continuous growth and improvement that develops students to be life-ready leaders, empower, empower educators to be effective mentors, and develop families as an effective support system. Objective evidence of the leader in me's effectiveness has been steadily growing since 2010. To date, over 30 independent academic research studies have evaluated this unique process and determined the positive impact of leader in me across a wide variety of areas like student behavior, emotional readiness of both teachers and students, supportive school environment, and academic achievement. Currently, the Leader in Me is implemented in about 4,500 schools in 54 countries, including the Philippines, thus forming a global community of schools and educators dedicated unleashing human potential. It is actually the desire and mission of the Leader in Me to raise up a generation of principled leaders with character and competence. Can you just imagine it? A school where every student is taught how to achieve goals, build relationships, resolve conflicts, and speak in public just as thoroughly as they are taught to read and write. Imagine teachers that instead of thinking maybe there's an Einstein here in my class, realize that they already have a classroom full of them. Maybe not only an Einstein in their classroom, but also a Nelson Mandela or a Mother Teresa in there. Imagine a learning environment where students are independent learners and work together to engage in a collaborative way that teach real-world problem-solving skills. Imagine a world where all of this is a common practice and every student is prepared to make an extraordinary contribution to the world. That world is not impossible. We only need to see and do education the way it should be to transform lives. Again, I'm Rederick Tino M. Garcia. Thank you very much. Stay safe and God bless you.